Pisces, welcome to your June 2020 reading. I'm Gemstone Tarot and Valley Bodge joins us. She's asleep. Well, I think she's kind of pretending a bit actually. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. Everybody is welcome. There will be an extended reading and the link will be in the description box. Okay, that's all the housekeeping. Let's get on to business. Pisces, oh my God, that's such a good card felt very strongly that I wanted to do your reading today. E ooh, ooh, that's going to the side. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, e ooh, ooh, I could feel, I could feel the pulsation. I was like, I don't want that one. I'm a triple Pisces. So it's like, ew. But you know, intuition rules and I knew I had to take it. Oh, lovely. Okay, good. But we've got some good cards to go with it. So let's see what's... Wow. Okay, this is a big deal. June, let's just say, right, June is a really big deal for all the signs. Um, we have got an eclipse on the 5th, an eclipse on the 21st, Mercury going retrograde on the 18th, and the sun moving into Cancer on the 20th, among other things. Okay, so do look up the astrology on Cafe Astrology. Oh, Pisces, this is a bit lovely, actually. <laughs> um, because the astrology is really important, and I know not everybody's into, like, really complicated, long-winded astrology, so the other thing you can do is look up Gregory Scott. He has really... God, this is amazing. <laughs> Pisces, this is a big reading. Um, Gregory Scott has very good, simple astrological videos. If you want just the simple, like, low down without getting bogged down. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Let's just take a moment. Because we're Pisces and we don't always get the greatest readings, though they have been pretty good recently. I'm just going to tip you off right now that this is good. I don't often do that. I'm shifting in my seat. I've got my drink. Where to even begin the so much freaking major arcana? Okay, let's go for that card no one wants to see, the tower. The tower is a card of shock and surprise and left field and lightning and, and epiphany. Uh, ooh, epiphany. <laughs> um, sometimes, my friends, it's good. I know. When, uh, particularly probably water signs, you know, you see the tower, you're like, oh my God. You know, what fresh next thing? Not allowed to swear on YouTube. Um, because the rest of the cards are pretty damn fine, actually. Um, yeah. Two of Cups in the middle of the reading. Venus in Cancer. A fair exchange of cups. A beautiful thing. And above it, the ten. Let's just, like, counterbalance with that. And the tower. Okay. Something about this is brutal, but in a good way. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, you might be dealing with an air sign here. You could also be dealing with a water sign. The only I don't have any fire on the table at the moment, but there's so much major arcana that it's not just all down to a relationship. This is your life. You know, the tower is a big card, but we also have the death card, which is Scorpio, and it's a transformation. Now, the tower, when things come down, the falsehoods come down, the lightning hits, and it's major, major arcana, and things are... You know, there's a huge storm with the tower. It's often shown as kind of a lighthouse and there's storm and lightning and shh. And that isn't comfortable. So I'm not saying this is comfortable. But it has an incredibly good feeling about it. It's uncomfortably fantastic. Now, what a weird combination. But as Pisceans, with one fish going this way and one fish going that way, okay. <laughs> Uncomfortably fantastic 
is something you're probably very familiar with. Pisces is a sign of complete contradiction at all times. So Pisces is a walking, talking, breathing, swimming contradiction. You know that if you've got heavy Pisces in your chart, um, as I have. It's sometimes a blessing, sometimes a curse, definitely a curse if someone's asking you to do a spreadsheet because you're like, how can we pin this down to just these boxes? The possibilities are endless, okay? That is a Piscean statement. Okay, so you can take it here that this is brutally fantastic, okay? Uh, you're not expecting it. You're not expect. Some of you, this could even be a proposal, okay? It could be if you're single. I don't know how you meet someone in the times that we're living in at the moment, but <laughs> it's not for me to say on this one. That, that, that camera battery died. There's that much major arcana on this table that it's. That's what I mean. It's not even about saying this person, this time, this place. You're not gonna know. I'm not gonna know, it doesn't matter, okay? The tower, <laughs> epiphany, lightning, things turning out so much better than you could have ever hoped to dream for. Can you hope to dream for something? Well, if you can, you will. Right, okay, Major Arcana, we've got the death card, we've got the tower, you know, you would think to yourself, that's a bit dark, and it is. Along with the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. I love the Wheel of Fortune, okay? This is luck. This is destiny. It's a destiny card. And along with that destiny card, the world. Wheel of Fortune and the world. Two destiny cards. The world, of course, Oiroboros, the snake that eats itself, is in my end, is my beginning. You are ending a very negative past life almost cycle, okay? However that pertains to you, with this Scorpio energy, with the death card, you literally leave something for dead, you leave something behind, it could be someone, it could be a relationship, it could be the life you used to lead, the thoughts you used to have. You are a snake shedding its skin, which is not something I would often say to Pisces, because that's you know, snakes are more of a fire thing for me, more of a sort of salamander situation. And Piscean's a fish, but just for this time, for June, it's a pivotal time. And I've said this to the other signs as well. This may be the month you look back on in years to come and think that's when it all changed. That's when it took off. That's when it started. Even if you're restricted by whatever's going on in your country at the moment and the rules and the regulations, this is going on behind the scenes, okay? And it's a beautiful thing. It really is. It's gorgeous. The death energy takes you out of something old. You shed your skin. You're marching into something new. The tower will take you there whether you like it or not. I know, because as Pisceans, we like to be under the blanket. You know, you always see those memes on Instagram, and they're always so true. Well, they are for me anyway. You know, Pisces, crying eating chocolate, sitting under a blanket, you know, that whole kind of easygoing fish thing. Well, we're not the ones that normally march into radical change, you know, we like things to be kind of sweet and nice. This is brutally fantastic. There is some kind of impetus required. And if you don't provide it, the tower will. So the universe is going to drive this forward anyway. There's that much major arcana on the table. So we have death, we have the tower, we have the wheel of fortune, we have the world. Now notice that the wheel of fortune and the world are both these cycle cards. They're destiny, they're round, they're circular, they are a cycle. And then we have the sun, I mean, come on, which is also another circle card for me. It's a gorgeous energy. Pisces is um, supposed to be the moon in tarot because secrecy and borrowed light and being hidden and being in the feminine. Sun is that woof, masculine, yang, here you are, ha ha, energy, okay? It's also good fortune, good luck is smiling on you. It's again, it's fire, you're getting some fire, even though there's no fire in this reading, 
it's a real healthy radiance that you haven't had before. Okay, and then we also have temperance. It's lovely. Temperance is about learning to play with the energies you've got. You may be, because you've got the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups, you may be um, frightened by the intensity of what you feel and by the amount of luck you're going to have. Pisces, you know, Jupiter is one of our rulers and Jupiter is a planet of luck. And most Pisceans, I remember Jonathan, I say this to you nearly every month, Jonathan Cainer, the late great astrologer who I love, he used to say that Pisceans kind of leap from one precipice to another and everybody's like holding their breath, you know, going, <gasps> whereas Pisces knows that generally the universe casts a magical safety net. It's that, but it's more than that. You're going to you're going to have be beefed up by luck in a kind of fiery, lucky, almost a fire sign, Sagittarian kind of a way. Temperance is the Sagittarian card. Now, the woman in Temperance is playing with these cups. She's got her feet in the water. She's happy to play with the energies, and that is the energies that you're going to be playing with. Okay, the rainbow, the ten, ten cups, Mars in Pisces. It's a whole lot of yum for the love department. Okay, now also the Knight of Swords. This is messages, information, communication, a situation moving through some external force. Now we also have, and the only wrinkle in the entire reading here, Five of Swords, Venus in Aquarius. I'm a Pisces, I have Venus in Aquarius. It's fear. It's fear of having it too good and it's a, it's waiting for the other shoe to drop. Okay, see if you can get into that lovely temperance energy where you literally accept that you are lucky. Okay, now the only, oh yeah. Overall energy as well, I got the Queen of Cups, which of course is you, it's Pisces. <clears throat> it's you and your Piscean energy and underneath her, oh my God, the Eight of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. Itchy nose, which is always a good sign. Messages coming in, Eight of Wands, movement. It's a Sagittarian and it's really making my nose itch. Sagittarian energy, okay. It's luck, it's dumb luck, it's nice. Pisces, do you know what? Since the eclipses that we had in, I think it was 2016, 2017, luck hasn't really been kind of on our agenda. It hasn't always been knocking. Well, it is now, okay? Learn to answer the door. And in June, you will. The universe will turn your face to the sun, you know? It's a lovely thing. You don't really have to do anything <laughs> except play nice, dream big. A manifest. I know. I'm very happy, Pisces. Yeah, looky here. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This is nice. In the extended, I'm going to look at... I'm going to look at the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups. I'm also going to look at the Eight of Wands and the Tower to see what... And the Death Card to see what's involved with that, okay? This is lush. I'm gonna have five of these, but it's not gonna be that one. Oh, Pisces. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, Pisces. And do, what do you do when you do that? Oh yeah, you hit the wiggly bell. Because then you get like the random love readings and the, the, because you know, I'm a Pisces, so I don't plan anything. So I just put the videos out when I feel like it. So at least you'll know, okay? Okay, honeymoon. Let's do it this way. You deserve love. Something Pisceans forget to remember quite often, okay? Give your relationship a chance, whether it's new or old. Chemistry, unsurprisingly, and heart-to-heart -heart conversations 
those are the ones you might be having with loved ones in your life about moving things to a new level of commitment. And why not? Oh, Pisces, these cards are so good. The only trouble is which one to choose to put on the front of your video. I mean, I could put about five different cards on there. Okay, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Sisters of the Seasons, which is cycles of growth. It's divine order and natural law, okay? You think this is coming out of left field. It's been on its way for a really long time, okay? Do you know what? There are times as a tarot reader that I surprise myself, okay? I get the goosebumps and I know the card I'm going to pull. It doesn't happen very often, I have to say. I don't know why it doesn't. It happened then. Um, Healing with the Angels Oracle card. I could feel it. Those of you that watch the dailies know why I'm putting on the tiara. It's miracles for you, Pisces. Absolutely and utterly and completely not surprised. I'm going to go and do the extended. See you soon. Namaste.